that symbol? The eco core. At the center of our planet. This must be where the precursors controlled it. <sighs> but it looks long dead. Maybe. Maybe not. With the right persuasion. Jack, I need a little eco energy for this control board. That woke something up. The eco core. The core is malfunctioning. I read a massive unstable energy buildup. It appears there's a prism at the center, which must combine and break the ecos into their colors. It seems to be out of alignment, but I think I can fix it. For what it's worth, I think I got it. But we'll need to bring it back online slowly, or else I don't know what... Reporting as ordered, Captain. And I've brought a few lost souls with me. Clout! Good show, man! You captured Skyheat! <laughs> Just some old-fashioned parlor work. A little muscle. And something that talks louder than words. Yes. Something much more persuasive. There are many more where that came from, Clout. Like I said, I'm old-fashioned. And when a captain's gotta go, he's gotta go. Uh, is it too late to be on their side? You traitor. No, you, sir, are the real traitor. You turned your back on our people and on your duty. What you have made them. What you have become! You are no longer my people! For your lack of loyalty, the penalty is death. Kill them! But leave the monster to me. I want Jack. Steady. You're the monster, Skyheed. In every war, there are worthwhile casualties. Join us, Jack. Accept your fate, as I have. This is the future. Never! Pity, Jack. You could have finally realized your true potential. Kill them all. Oh, yeah. Get down! This energy field won't last long. Let's get out of here! Run, cowards! And I will find you wherever you go! This isn't over. It well might be. I've just received word that the Europans have laid siege to Fardrop. What? How did they find it? Who sent the message? I don't know. It could be a trap. But with the location of Fardrop known, no one is safe from the Europans now. And Skyheat has access to the Eco Core. Who knows what he plans to do with it? It seems Skyheat thinks we're on the defensive. Yeah, hello, brother. We are. Then now's the perfect time to attack. That's the spirit! We'll muster every last freedom fighter and pirate we can find. We've got to defend Fardrop at all costs. We'll take the fight to Skyheed and hit him hard before he realizes what's happened. The siege went badly. I've lost many friends at Fardrop. Time for payback. Skyheed will see us coming on his long-range scanners if we attack. Wait, someone's sending another message. Use Europan Barracks. Warp gate. Varric's warp gate? I think I built that warp transport long ago. Hmm. <laughs> Skyheat locked it with an activation code. I think. <laughs> Looks like our secret admirer just sent us the code. Ah! With that code, you can drop right on Skyheat's back door before his scanners can say incoming! Sounds like a trap. Well, it's all we've got. To all freedom fighters, converge on the Europan barracks. Everyone, to the warp gate, now! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! I'll eat you! Hey, Dax, putting on some pounds. <laughs> Welcome to the other end of the food chain. Oh, I broke this one. Still hungry. Time to find some more meat snacks. <laughs> Dax, chew before you swallow. I've got to go back for him. There's got to. He was like huge. Daxter or whatever he is can take care of himself. Hurry! Cut it off! Cut it off! 
That'll keep the rest of them out. What the heck happened to you? Oh, nothing. I just turned into a huge, slobbering, dark eco-monster who has even worse B.O. than I do! How's your day been? Great! Now I've got two monsters to worry about. Comes with the territory. So what's the plan? I'm gonna find a way to take out the long-range sensor array. That should let Phoenix get his ship through. You boys need to find and destroy Skyheed's weapons control system so you can get your gun up and working. Think you can do that? Hey, we're the demolition duo, remember? It's over, Skyheed. <laughs> He's drawing on massive amounts of Dark Ego! You are too late! The Ego Core is now mine to use as I will. With it, my armies will grow stronger. Europa will not only survive, it will rule the world! Enough! This has gone too far. You fool! We are only just beginning to see what Eco can do to us. Ruskin, you are the one sending us messages. Don't make me kill you, my duke. There is still a chance to undo this madness. Yes, I helped them. I cannot live with what you have done to us all. Then, you will die with them. <laughs> It is your turn! Do something, Jack! Time to tame the beast. This isn't over! With enough power, even you cannot challenge me, Jack! No, great. Smart move, Jack. Hey, hero. Need a ride? Phoenix is getting good at catching jumpers. Phoenix, Skyheat's on the move. He's headed back to the Eco Core. You'll need a good ship to match him. Take your pick from the flyers in the hangar. Thanks. Try to keep up, you old pirate. And Phoenix, keep Kira safe. <laughs> we'll stay close, Hotshot. The Phantom Blade has it in her. Just watch your six. Looks like you boys need a lift. No, you die. Phoenix, what are you doing? Sorry, old boy, but we can't have Sky Heat double dipping from the Eco Core all day. Besides, if I don't show you up, who will? Phoenix, no! There's no other way, my dear. I started this, and I damn well can finish it. Jack, it was great flying with you. Keep Kira safe, will you? Now, Sky Heat, or whatever you become, see if you can take a blade to the heart! Ha ha ha! Phoenix! Well, pluck my whiskers! He did it! The behemoth is damaged! Which means it can be destroyed. Here I come, Sky Heat. This is for Phoenix. Everything's in the green. The prism is aligned, and the core is channeling energy. Soon, eco-vents around the world will start flowing again. If only Phoenix could have seen this. He was a good man. He certainly was. Phoenix sacrificed himself for us all. My readings show a huge reduction in storm and quake activity in all directions. And the instability is dropping fast. Whoa! Kira! You just channeled eco-energy! You may be turning into an eco-sage, my girl. Big deal. When I get really riled up, I can turn into a massive 15-foot monster. <laughs> it's more like 8 feet, but uh, I like your short and orange, pal. And so do the ladies. Castaway, what is your name? People called me Tim. 
Well, Tim and I have been decoding these symbols at the core. That circle inside our planet was attached to other energy lines. And a big one points out over the brink. Which means... We've got some exploring to do. Who knows what we'll find out there. I say we go partake of the love and gratitude right here. Out over the brink, huh? Could be a grand adventure. If I can find a partner willing to keep up. Well, since we're already way out here... I wasn't really planning on taking a vacation. Say, you guys wouldn't be planning something without me, right? Next time, I want to vote! Oh, sure, Dax. All in favor of going on a new adventure, raise your hand. Two to one. Done. You lose. Whoa! Whoa! You're lucky I didn't go monster on you just then. That really got me upset. Okay, fine. We'll go on another adventure. But this time, I'm bringing a barf bag and some magazines. And maybe that sexy pirate chick. Oh, and a seat cushion. It hurts my tail to sit that long. And a few more snacks, hence the barf bag, and a high tensile grooming comb for my luscious dark monster fur. And don't let me forget my poogie precursor bear. Can't sleep without it. And a boatload of gas pills. Oh, you guys won't be able to sleep if I don't have those. <laughs> ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm bringing that cool precursor game system Tim built for me. And the racing game Jack X. And my whisker trimmer. Hey, you got any grubby gum? It helps pop the ears when we're landing.